Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. It appears an old GTA 6 4chan leak is turning out to be somewhat true. Reddit user MeetSedgeBull originally wrote the following text about the details of the GTA 6 4chan leaker AMA that got taken down. Saw that a lot of people missed out on the 4chan AMA since it got taken down, kinda SUS, but decided to gather everything they said about the game there and compile it into a list. Chapter system similar Red Dead Redemption 2 and the first two chapters set in the late 1970s. October 2023 targeted. One male protagonist, codenamed Ricardo which was leaked previously. The name of the protagonist is a spoiler in itself which can potentially spoil the narrative and the leaker also said beware of future leakers who might spoil the name of the protagonist. The map covers Miami slash Florida and a smaller map that appears in limited interaction, similar to Garma in Red Dead Redemption 2. The leaker claims that Dan Hauser left because he exhausted himself after Red Dead Redemption 2 Crunch could return in the future. Main story is set to be about 60 hours long. GTA Online counterpart to release a few months after the single player counterpart release. Something similar to what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. The leaker claims that it is the best story ever put in a GTA game but not quite emotional as Red Dead Redemption 2. The mission structure is supposed to be quite free. The map is smaller than Red Dead Redemption 2, but way dense. This seems to be the biggest red flag regarding the credibility of the leaker but considering that the game spans multiple decades, it makes sense if they decided to pack it more or another possibility could be something like The Witcher 3 where there are multiple maps of different locations. Mini games include surfing, windsurfing, and roller derby. Red Dead Redemption is technically being remastered and coming before Tavi. One thing to note is that when someone asks to leak something very specific which can be used to see the credibility of the leak in the future, the leaker says, you meet Ken Rosenberg and he mentions Tommy Versetti several times although you never actually meet Tommy. The example of the improved AI design according to the leaker was you may see NPCs beeping their horn and driving aggressively around other drivers because they're late for work. The family from GTA 4 mentioned and Love Fist are involved in missions and side missions. Direct contact with explosions can blow off limbs, you can leave deep cuts on people with a machete and close combat shooting can result in bone fragmentation. Nudity levels similar to Cyberpunk. Developers impressed with Sony and the load times are surprisingly good for a game of this size and detail. They are also using the haptics from DualSense for the game. Consoles being prioritized so the PC version releasing later on after optimization. Body form alteration can happen like in San Andreas but not as dramatic. People will comment on your apparel choices. The online going to be grounded for the release. Not like current GTA Online where there's flying cars and shit. Red Dead Redemption 2 also getting a next-gen patch that doesn't overhaul the graphics but delivers better loading times and locked 60 frames per second. Female protagonist was contemplated around 2017 but was not finalized because it doesn't fit with GTA's narrative. The age of the protagonist is supposed to be 34 by the end of the game. What I think here is that maybe you play as the father of the protagonist during the 1970s part of the game and then as the protagonist in the modern day counterpart. The main character is a white male, roughly 6 feet 1 inch and has a sun-kissed tan. Italian raised in America and has jet black hair. Storms and weather effects are genuinely insane. When someone asked if there is a remastered GTA San Andreas coming up, the leaker mentioned that the anniversary is coming up, right? Car customization improved upon from GTA 5, cars change with time, so does clothes and hairstyles. The older cars become less common with time and if someone sees you drive an old car, they might call it a piece of crap. The leaker mentions that the Mexican from the previous leak is a very wealthy man who peddles Colombian marching powder. The mafia is in the game but the leaker refused to share more details. Liberty City has limited missions in the game. Mafia family's influence is heavy there. Pop and Rock have a huge part of the soundtrack. Pet Shop Boys have a few tracks in the game. Dan wrote a rough idea for the game but hasn't written a lot. The game is very politically incorrect, according to the leaker. The announcement can happen as early as spring 2022. For all I know this could be fake. I found it interesting so decided to put it into a list for more people to determine its credibility. But tbh it is hard to BS so much in an AMA that was an hour long, some details that they mention are very specific. Just doesn't seem that the leaker came up with the things from the top of their head, maybe it was thought out but it's interesting nevertheless. Reddit user Camouflag420 took notice of this and said, This old GTA 6 4chan leak is turning out to be somewhat true. Things it has got right till now. 
Pop and Rock have a huge part of the soundtrack. Pet Shop Boys have a few tracks in the game. Developers were impressed with Sony and the load times are surprisingly good for a game of this size and detail. They are also using the haptics from DualSense for the game. The announcement can happen as early as Spring 2022. When someone asked if there is a remastered GTA San Andreas coming up, the leaker mentioned that the anniversary is coming up, right? Red Dead Redemption is technically being remastered and coming before GTA 6. The first point was in a GTA 6 radio leak just a few days ago, again not confirmed but higher probability of it being true. The second and third point were confirmed itself in the community update our asterisk posted on their newswire some days back. Till now almost a year has passed since this got leaked and at that time no one was expecting the above things to be correct, the last point may not be correctly true but as time passes I now believe this might be the most near true leak we are going to get. I know it has got some things correct, but if this guy knew about the GTA Trilogy remasters, he wouldn't just blindly guess another RDR remaster out of the blue considering even the Kotaku article mentioned the development of a RDR port. Also one more point discussed was, Red Dead Redemption 2 also getting a next-gen patch that doesn't overhaul the graphics but delivers better loading times and locked 60 frames per second. I think this might be also true considering there was an Outlaws Collection leak on 4chan which said that Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Redemption being sold together with some improvements, maybe we could see that this year, maybe not, it all depends. What do you guys think? Is this real or just another fake leak? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.